Once so again, back on Free Code Game, doing JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in ES6 uh, somewhere, ES6, and we are on challenge 16 of 29. Awesome. So let's get started. Today, we are going to write concise object literals, uh, declarations using object property shorthand. Interesting. Okay. So essentially, what this means, uh, concise object literal declarations is um, we're going to use a shorthand to create objects and return objects from functions. So essentially this mouse over function takes in x, y coordinates and it returns this object with x as the key and y as the value and then y, or I'm sorry, x is the, is the key, x is the value, y is the key, y is the value, right? So an object with just the key value pairs inside from the parameters. What we can do is use shorthand, instead of defining x to x, y to y, is we can just write like this, where we take in x and y, and we return an object with x and y in it. So as you can see, we don't have to write out the x colon x, y colon y, we can just say object x, y, and it will naturally create that object uh, from our shorthand. So this is the shorthand it's speaking of. Okay, so it wants us to use an object property shorthand with object literals to create and return an object with a name, age, gender, properties. Okay, cool. So create person function takes in name, age, gender, and we're returning an object. We can tell it's an object from the curly braces with name as name, age as age, gender as gender. Okay, cool. So that's this example. Now what we need to do is refactor this so that it simply returns this object but using the shorthand method. So we know we can do that by saying return, and then we just want to return name, age, gender. <laughs> gender, there we go. So this will naturally, with the shorthand, construct the object with the same way it was, right? Name as name, age as age, gender as gender. So we can run this, see if it works. Yes, it does. That's all we had to do for this one. This is really just a shorthand technique that, uh, good to know, good to start using and putting into practice as you code, because it really is a, you know, it is shorthand, it is quicker to get this done. Uh, but yeah, that's just a good to know ES6, you know, new feature that, you know, it works fine either way. There's no right way to do it. This is just the newer way to do it with ES6 and kind of the popular way that you might see out in the wild. So hope that helps. Hope that made sense. And uh, see you guys in the next video.